Welcome to the Cult of the Dragon Fortress, guys. I'm Scratch. This is another Dragon Air Silent Gods video. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. In today's video, guys, we're going to have a look at the second phase of the semester boss. Uh, as mentioned before, we will encounter two different phases. Uh, one will be for the very first week. One will be for the second week. Now, currently, I am on a test server, which gives me access uh, ahead of time. So I want to prepare you guys. I want to let you know what exactly you can expect from the second phase. Before we move over to that, I just want to say a big thank you to Dragonair for sponsoring today's video. And if you guys just stumbled upon the channel, you're looking into Dragonair Silent Gods because you haven't tried the game just yet, you are missing out. The second phase of the Dungeons and Dragons collaboration event is going on, guys. We have tons of awesome events and rewards. We have Two powerful mages joining the Dragonair universe, Alminster Almar, which can be summoned from the planar summoning event. We have the magic trial, which uh, introduced new daily challenges. And of course, we have the reconfrontation with Semester. Plus, we have tons of awesome uh, cosmetics as well, like new dice skins. We have a new avatar frame, a new legendary artifact. Tons of things, guys. And if you want to try Dragon and Silent Gods, you can download the game by using my link in the description down below or in the pinned comment or by scanning the QR code you see on the screen. Plus, like this, you get to help and support the channel as well, which I really, really appreciate. So talking about Semester, what really changed with this boss on the second week, on its second phase? How you may notice, he lost the Dracolich. He's not riding the dragon anymore. He's going to take uh, on our team on his own. Of course, some of his skills changed as well, guys. This time around, we will require to have some sort of a tank in the team. And I'm going to explain you uh, what sort of strategy you should adopt. And I am in Season 2, right? So the team that I'm running is Burn. is probably one of the most effective team against this boss. And I'm going to show you a couple of different uh, teams. Something that will work for Season 1 as well. So... This is still the same. If you have Elminster in the team, he will uh, take additional uh, additional damage. For each debuff on Semester or his summons, uh, they will take additional damage. Right here is still an AoE. Semester deals necrotic damage to all enemies and summons four skeletons. Then you have this skill, which is a single target. That's why you need a tank, because he will stun the farthest enemy and uh, commands all skeletons on the battlefield to attack this enemy, okay? So it's pretty important to make sure that um, a tankier champion, a uh, support hero or whatever is going to be in that spot, you know? You will need a ranged tank, basically, but I'm going to show you what strategy to, to uh, use there. Then we have the last skill, deals necrotic damage to all enemies and detonates all skeletons on the battlefield. The explosion deals necrotic damage to surrounding enemies. You got that right. So they're going to make boom as well. Immune to all control effects. And you know he's stacking his uh, his damage. Now how I mentioned. I am running a burn team. And uh, I will use Elminster. I haven't used him just yet against the boss. I want to see how he performs. And uh, uh, I would assume a lot of you guys got him by now. And uh, just so you kind of like get an idea to see how he performs. We're going to use uh, this team one run. Then we're going to do a couple of different ones. But... Burn is really, really effective. So my Zarlot is not, uh, is not scrolled. I think the rest are, uh, are scrolled, if I'm not mistaken. Even the rares, because I used them before. Yeah. So Zarlot is not scrolled. The rest uh, have the scrolls in. And I have a bit of a timing. Just because when the, the enemies spawn, they will load their uh, ultimates quick. If no, I want to make sure I'm putting Burn on them. So uh, Arasis can blow up a few of them, you know. We're stacking a lot of damage extremely quick with Burn, though. Like, it's unbelievable how effective it is against this boss, you know. So then you have Elmister. Now, one thing that I like about him is something that I was not expecting, how you probably noticed. He used his ultimate skill, right, to cover the front with decreased attack and the back, too, which is actually an awesome thing. So he can uh, put decreased attack on Semester and put decreased attack on the, on the minions at the same time, which is such an amazing thing. Like, look at that. You see? I feel like he's definitely super, super solid. And then you have Arasis. Bang. Detonating uh, a couple of them in there, of course. It's only, only one that's really getting hit by him. I'm just thinking about it. If I would put Arasis maybe instead of, uh, instead of him right here, I might be able to, to hit multiple targets, but I don't think so, actually. I don't think so. 
So if I have enough firepower to blow them up, you know, before they uh, uh, get eaten by the dragon, I love, I love the animation how it's just calling the Dracolich to to attack us. They detonate, right? So the shield from Elminster is actually super, uh, super helpful in uh, in here. We're already at six million damage, guys. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that crazy? Literally in one minute. That's how effective burn is. You still need to get uh, eight. 8 uh, million damage, you know, that's that's what you need. But look at how much damage we are uh, doing with this team. It's crazy. And the shield from Elminster helps us uh, quite a bit. The extra debuffs, him being in the team, uh, allowing us to do 50% additional damage is uh, is massive too. I'm going to do a different thing in a second. We're going to take him out and see how well the team is performing. So there we go. 1 minute and 40 seconds, we reach 9.2 million damage. Isn't that pretty crazy, right? That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. So we got a max just like uh, like that in 1 minute and 41 seconds. And look, Arasis does the amazing damage. Uh, we have, of course, Biggs and Percival. Both of them doing very serious damage. Very, very helpful. So what about if we are changing Alminster out of the team? I'm still going to go full, full fire and Necrosis here. I'm going to bring in, for example, I need a different decrease attack hero, right? So I'm going to need, uh, I'm going to need this soul the most probably in here. Hopefully she scrolled. If not, I might have to, to scroll her. No, she scrolled. Just to have that decrease attack more consistently on, you know? And uh, I'm curious, curious if this will actually work, you know? Like how, how uh, much of a difference uh, he makes being in, uh, in the team, you know? So I'm going to put this on 14 seconds. 20, 12.5, 20, 12.5, 20, and the rest doesn't matter because Zarlot is going to put a charge speed penalty, and that will uh, allow us basically to uh, slow down the whole cycle of the of the boss. Most probably we won't be able to survive as good either because not having that shield on a on a battle skill like Alminster uh, does is going to affect us quite a bit. Not having that extra debuff that he's bringing in is going to affect us quite a bit too. But we're still doing pretty good. Like, we dropped 1 point million damage in the, in the very first uh, cycle, which is pretty impressive, actually. Burn is really, really effective. Especially if you have some uh, multiple enemies in here. Like, we have the summons, right? Of course, we would not be as effective without the summons. The reason why we are so effective is because we deal damage on multiple targets. We detonate all the burn. A lot of burn ticks on all of the enemies, you know, and uh, that's what makes this extremely, extremely effective. Look at that. 3 million damage already. Decrease attack seems to be spot on. We're not really getting uh, overlapped by the boss because of the recharge speed penalty from Zarlot. The stun is nasty because <laughs> I don't have uh, my Zarlot scrolled either. So just imagine 5 seconds of not recharging the ultimate energy with a 23 seconds cooldown. My Zarlot is healing on a 28 seconds uh, cycle, which is pretty crazy. It's pretty slow. It's not, uh, it's not very helpful, you know? It's definitely not very helpful. But look at that. We are melting. So yes, it's just a big difference in, uh, in the damage when you don't have Elminster in the team, you know? So if you have him, definitely build a team around him. 100%. Regardless if you're in Season 1 or Season 2, you know? Because it's extremely, extremely effective. Now, I would assume that 20% of you guys got Elminster, judging by what I've seen in comments and uh, on the poll and uh, just in general. And the rest of you, 80% that are trying to get him, so the people that are not going for the event are not in this poll, uh, will basically work on getting the fragments for free before summoning the hero, right? So uh, you're still not there to have him available. That's why the next team, again, won't use Elminster in the team. I just wanted to have one team with him to see how uh, how well he performs and how much he actually helps the team. But you see, uh, we're not, uh, not as good right now with survivability and uh, just in general, having, uh, having less uh, debuffs on, uh, on, the, on the boss. We lost, we lost our tank, but we managed to reach the 9 million. That's what matters, you know, and it's very... It's very effective to use burn against uh, against this, you know. Good. Let's actually look for something a bit more uh, more friendly. Can we actually 
use the same team we used before. So let's just imagine that uh, we might have a poison team like we had before. This one right here. Um, yes. Okay, let's let's use this one. Let's use this one. This might uh, might get a job done. I'm not even 100% sure. But let's let's give it a go. Maybe we need to bring in Hexandra. I have one, two, three, four damage dealers, right? So he just deals damage. Should we drop Danch out of the team or should we drop him? Hmm. I think we're gonna drop Danch out of the team. Uh each time with a chance of inflicting poison. Now let's let's drop him out of the team. So what I'm gonna do instead, guys, because I'm a bit I'm gonna be like, okay, what am I doing? What am I doing? What should I do? Uh we're gonna play it a bit different. So whoever is in here is going to get the hit, okay? So we're going to bring in Hexandra and we're going to see if she can tank. I feel like her and Frerb are together with three damage dealers. There's no way in hell we're not getting this, uh, this done. Now, my only problem will be the decreased attack on, uh, on the boss. He won't deal 50% more damage. And that's because I will have poisons on him anyway, you know. But let's see if this will get the job done. So Hexandra is going to get a stun from the second skill from the boss. Frerbar will put decrease attack on everybody. Nice. Eli will shoot on the other way. So that can be a bit of a problem for his uh, overall damage versus the boss. But we are, we are doing good. 1 million damage in the first 30 seconds. This shows us that, yes, probably the exact same team you used before, if you use something similar, will be effective enough, uh, enough you know. Eli is getting hit pretty hard, though by uh, the detonation of the of the skeletons okay so they're all going for uh they're all going for my hexandra i could always delay uh eli's ultimate so he's not using it on the minions and uh have him use it straight after uh, the boss is using his uh, ultimate so like this the damage goes over to, to the boss. It might, it might be a bit more rewarding, you know, that's why, that's why I'm saying it. Like, we can just use it right now, you know. And I feel like we are getting more damage like this. 1 minute and 30 seconds in, 3.2 million damage. Definitely looking, uh, looking doable. But now we have uh, Horus uh, turning around using his ultimate on them, which is fine. I guess it's fine. It is pretty risky to keep them alive, like, you see, we have Eli getting pretty hammered already, and we're only, only 1 minute and 30 seconds in. So it's definitely not a team that will survive for a very uh, long duration of time. I feel like it is pretty risky, especially with Eli being, uh, being placed there at the back. What I could do, but that, again, would put a lot of, uh, a lot of pressure on Hexandra, is to move her all the way to the back of the, of the map, and see how will that perform. But then she won't be getting any healing from Frerbart. And I'm worried that that might, uh, might put a bit, of a, a bit of pressure on her, you know. 5 million damage so far. It's looking good, though. It's definitely looking good. Okay. Eli's still hitting the, the skeletons. That's fine. Not a problem. That adds some damage, too. So as long as we are hitting somebody, as long as we are doing that, we, we good, you know. This seems to work pretty pretty well too. I don't see why uh, why it, uh, it won't work. And this is for pretty much every season, basically. I can do another one for Radiance if you guys want to. I feel like Radiance, again, is very effective against uh, this. Uh, especially if you have a, a Hedge on, because he will just jump and hammer those, uh, those minions, most probably. I I'm very curious to see if we can um, one-shot them with them, you know? With a Hedge or something like that. The rest don't seem to be as... Uh, as effective, like, to deal crazy damage on them. Probably Radiance will, will be the same, you know? I don't think they will deal that much, that much damage. Okay. Frerbart is putting the decrease attack in the exact same way, like, uh, like, uh, Alminster. So it might, it might be that we are in the, in the range of the diamond, you know? Okay, 8 million damage. There we go. It took us a, a, a little longer than with Burn because we're not uh, 
dropping so much uh, so much damage, but it's still pretty pretty good. So this is another another team, guys, and that's what you can expect from the second phase of the semester boss. You know, pretty interesting, pretty pretty interesting. Let me just back out of here, and I can try one more uh, one more team. So this was three minutes and forty two seconds. Not not too shabby. And let's let's check the damage. Horus 34.8. He's not scrolled, by the way, guys. Uh, I don't think Danch is scrolled either. And Eli being the, the MVP in here. So let's actually try to do a different uh, team that will work in both seasons. We're gonna try to do the same elemental uh, affinity, a full uh, a full team from uh, from it, you know. I can use Garius if you have him, he's he's solid. If not, Catherine is solid. I'm not gonna use Garius though. Uh, I will use Hagio. Hagio is solid, definitely. Quarian is going to be my other uh, my other healer in here. And I'm going to place them in like that in the middle. And then I'm going to use him. He's a, he's a good rally activator. And uh, I could use him as well, Walby. Or I could use somebody that does decrease attack. And we're going to need that. 100%. I kind of like uh, miss that part. We do need a decrease attack, right? So uh, in season one, you have lightning. Uh, but we're going to try to bring a decrease attack from here. She does decrease attack on the battle skill. And she's not scrolled. She doesn't seem to need a scroll. So let's see if, if this will deal enough damage. I'm very curious. Maybe we're not going to have enough firepower in here. But I'm still very, very curious. And. Because we don't need Hexandra there, we're gonna we're gonna play it like this. So she, uh, Hexandra, Catherine, sorry. We're gonna see if uh, all the skeletons go there. But I feel like the skeletons are all range. So because they're range, they're not gonna move their position. They're still going to target the same. Uh... Okay, they are actually dropping in a different area. Okay, they are dropping in a different area. So that's that's good to know at least. And there we go, we got the 8 million damage, ladies and gentlemen. It took us 4 minutes, but it's still doable. And the reason why I showed the team like this is because this is available in Season 1, is available in Season 2, is available for everybody. These heroes are not new from Season 2, but look look what I have, right? Pretty pretty good damage from Hedge, almost uh, 5 million. Nisa, not scrolled. Uh, Catherine, she scrolled actually, my bad. Hedge, you're not scrolled. And Taitlin is scrolled. I can't. Re I don't remember scrolling him though. Okay, so just sorry. Two of the epics are not scrolled. But that was all for the second phase of semester, guys. If you enjoyed what you've seen so far in the video and you want to get involved with Dragon and Silent Gods, head over to the link in the description down below or in the pinned comment, or scan the QR code you see on the screen to download the game and join Dungeons and Dragons Legends in Dragon and Silent Gods today. That was all for the video, guys. Peace.